So this is it. We're having Vladimir Horowitz's Concert Grand Steinway that was his own personal piano that he uh, enjoyed for over 50 years. It was in his apartment in New York. It's the piano that he used to record with. It's the piano he took to Moscow with him to do his great return to Moscow concert. My name is Jan Gerando. I live here in Leawood. Well, I remember watching the concert on TV that he did in, was it Russia? I think it was Russia. And people were just weeping. And it was awesome. And even though I'm not a classical music person, that experience really, how could it not stay with somebody? So, I mean, he was huge, a huge person in music. There's no other time you'd ever be able to do something like this. And even though it was totally terrorizing, I thought, just get up, get over there and do it because this is an opportunity of a lifetime. We have had other famous pianos here before, but this is the first time that we will have CD 503, a piano of this stature, a piano of, well, quite possibly the most famous Steinway piano ever. For those, of, for those people who followed Vladimir Horowitz, who was widely considered to be the greatest pianist of the 20th century, um, yeah, this is, this is like hitting a ball with Babe Ruth's bat or singing a song in Elvis's blue suede shoes. I don't know. Uh, but this is, yeah, this is the top of the mountain right now. The piano is really magnificent, uh, particularly for me at the low end. The sound is huge. And that was surprising when I started to play. And the only time I really thought about who had played this in the past was right at the end and I thought, don't think about it, just keep going. My name's Craig Hagenboo. I'm a Kansas City resident. I've played piano since I was uh, eight years old, playing piano for quite a long time. I was a music major at William Jewell College and uh, met my wonderful wife and decided to get away from piano for a long time and about two years ago I picked it back up. So. Here I am. I'm excited to be here with the Horowitz piano for sure. It's going to sound a little funny, but I just, you know, you sit down and there's, I feel like there's an aura. I mean, I, I'm, uh, you know, grew up listening to Horowitz, never got to see him play live, but, you know, just the fact that I'm sitting here looking across the piano like he has was just uh, a bit overwhelming and it, you know, it was, Took me, took me a little bit of back, you know, just trying to, to work through what I was playing and trying to forget that I was playing on his piano as opposed to just playing. 